So back in January, I uh, I featured in a a BBC Sounds documentary of uh, the very talented Livy Haydock, um, another guy called Ben, and um, obviously I was, you know, I was there for I suppose the Lee Duffy connection. I did uh, three books on Lee and two documentaries, so I, I you know, Viv Graham's name come up. Um, I knew a little bit about his life as well, but I kind of, I suppose, did a few bits behind the scenes. Um, I knew various people around Viv's life, so I kind of put him in touch. Um, so I've just listened to the first part. I'm going to put the uh, the first part in the bio for this video. It's only five minutes long, but, uh, I'm, but I'm led to believe there's six parts and each part is like half an hour. So I have listened to the previous ones. Um, Paul Massey was one, the Berger Boys. Uh, of course, it's the BBC, which is really professional. Various people, uh, real names as well around Viv are in. Uh, one of Viv's sons is in. Um, the lovely Anna Connolly's in. Uh, well, Manny Bergo. Um, I mean, I put him in touch with the pathologist who uh, examined Lee, as uh, sorry, Viv, as well as Lee, actually. So uh, I was I was right in the first place. Um, one guy, Paul Polance, I think Viv was given his first job by him. or And um, Paul Polance actually fought Paul Sykes as uh, an amateur boxer in the late 70s, but that's another story. But uh, yeah, the uh, first part, really, really impressive. As I said, I'm going to put the... Link if you wanted to listen to it. It's um so it's on BBC Sounds, but I've just listened to it on Spotify. So I'm gonna put the link as I said in the bio. Click on it, have a listen yourself. Uh and the rest of the parts are gonna be out May the twenty fourth. Uh I said in the the documentary, I said, you know, in my head, you know, when I think of Newcastle, I think uh Blade and Racers, Ant and Deck, Jimmy Nail, you know, all these Canny bag of Tudor adverts and, um, and, and Viv Graham is very much part of that, like, vision I have when I think of Tyneside. You know, he's, uh, whether you loved or loved him, he was, he's very much part of that Tyneside folklore. And, um, like the Duffy stories, like your Paul Sykes, a lot of stories kind of snowball as the years go by. And it's very hard to separate fact from fiction. Um, whether well, this team have really um, got the right people, I would have said. You know, Anna Connolly is uh, was Viv's love of his life for I don't know, ten years, and obviously you've got some of his children on board, and um, and various parts, various different people around the life and times of Tarnside Hardman hard Viv Graham. So uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to listening. To it. As I said, it's not really my thing, you know listen to uh these kind of things but uh when i was asked in i think it was it january i did listen to the previous ones and i listened to them before i give them an answer um and i was really really impressed and uh you know i listened to them at work and at the six parts and that's one of the things it's kind of you know because we've got the internet our tips and all that but I enjoy listening to a football match. I just close my eyes and listen to it and let your imagination go. And and um, that's what it's like with this. You know, you just listen to the, the correct people. Some of the sounds are in there, like uh, the music, which takes you back in time. Uh, some of the sound effects. Nick Manners is in as well. So I'm going to be releasing a book on Nick Manners this year. Uh, and he did a bit of time. I think he was, if I think he spent about three months with Fifth Graham. Uh, late 80s I think it was uh and um yeah so everyone has a story everyone has a story connected various so some bigger than others but one thing that you you know if you met him even if the once he was um he was unforgettable if you met him I know when I did the um the Alan Thompson book Alan was just a young footballer coming through you know but Viv looked after him your Steve Watsons your Lee Clarks all that kind of um you know, the young Geordies coming through and um and they all didn't have a bad word to say about him. You know, Alan was there once when uh 
Viv got into a fight and it was it was several men come in looking for Viv with metal bars and baseball bats and and uh they just went out the back and Viv always immaculately dressed, always um designer clothes, smelt nice, Alan said and he said, uh, he just come back in without a mark on him. You know, so these, uh, I mean, that's obviously a, a true story because Alan's, Alan was there. But there's a lot of stories, there's a lot of mythical bullshit, really, which is built on the back of the name. And, you know, here we are 30 years on, or he's been dead, like like Duffy, almost as long as he was alive. And uh, people are talking about him. And that that is a sign of success in itself. So, um, yeah, Viv Graham, um, gangster, made by Livy Haydock. And um, Ben, among other various BBC team, have done a cracking job and I'm really looking forward to uh, listen to the other few parts. So if you want to listen to the the first part, as I just have, click in the bio and uh, let me know. Let me know your thoughts below once you've listened to it. <laughs> 